Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we understand the concept of the current gain in an NPN transistor, let's do some simple examples to solidify our, our understanding. Here we say if beta equals 200, what is alpha equal to? If alpha is equal to 0 0.99, what is beta equal to? And if beta is equal to 100 and the collector current is equal to 30 milliamps, what is the base current? So we need to know the equations, the relationship between beta and alpha. We know that alpha is equal to beta divided by beta plus 1. So this is equal to 200 divided by 200 plus 1, which is equal to 200 divided by 201. And just to make sure we get this correct, uh, 200 divided by 201 is, yes indeed, it's 0 0.995. Remember what the definition are of the beta. Beta, by definition, is equal to the relationship between the collector current and the base current. And alpha is equal to the relationship between the emitter current, the, oh, not the emitter current, the collector current, to the emitter current. So that means that alpha is 0 0.995, which means the ratio of the collector current to the emitter current is 0 0.995 to 1. So 0 0.995 to 1. All right, now let's go for the second part here. If alpha is 0 0.99, what is beta? Remember that beta is a relationship or the ratio between the collector current and the base current, and beta can be defined in terms of alpha as being alpha divided by alpha minus 1. Oop, not alpha minus 1, but 1 minus alpha. So in this case, alpha is equal to 0 0.99, and 1 minus 0 0.99 is equal to 0 0.99 divided by 0 0.01, which is equal to 99, which means if alpha is equal to 0 0.99, then beta is approximately equal to 100. And finally, if beta is equal to 100 and the collector current is 30 milliamps, what is the base current? Again, we come up to this familiar relationship now. So we can say that the base current, I sub B, is equal to the ratio of the collector current divided by the current gain. In this case, that would be 30 milliamps divided by 100, and that would be 300 microamps would then be the base current that produces a current of 30 milliamps through the transistor from the collector to the emitter. So it's a simple, some simple examples of getting more familiar with the, with the current gain, and I will show you some more complicated examples where I actually do some circuit analysis on transistor circuits. That's coming up in the next several videos.